you were at uh, the Coliseum last Friday night, and you're going to cover USC Washington this week, and they are going to go with their third-string quarterback, right? It looks like. Keaton Slovis, who's the really talented freshman quarterback, still in concussion protocol. I was out there last night, so we're not sure if he's going to – it's very iffy he's going to play. So Matt Fink, who was the hero on Friday night – He's got, got some experience, and they got great receivers. Just throw it up. He he plays aggressive. He lets them make big plays, and and Michael Pittman, and Tyler Vaughn, those guys do it. Um, but so a little who's oh, who's who's fourth? We that's should, the great question. Should we, should we know who the fourth stringer is? Because that's the kid who's going to win the football <laughs> game. As the sideline guy, I'm like, because they already had another quarterback who is Jack Sears started the game last year. He's not even with the team now. He's a regular right. student there. So this was during the game. During last the week. game, and I can't right. talk to Clay Helton in the middle of a quarter or one of the other coaches, but I can talk to somebody on the staff if I know a recruiting guy. Right. I grab one of the guys. I was like, hey, by the way, who's your emergency quarterback? And the this guy is as Fink's like, out in the game. This is as Fink is out in the game. It's uh-huh. early on and he was like uh that guy and I was like wait a minute 27 he was like yeah that him and I was like 27 and he said well he's a safety but he's been the scout team quarterback he came from junior college and he was a walk-on so I talked to this kid yesterday Brandon Purdue his dad is a veterinarian who actually is the veterinarian for traveler and so when that's the USC horse that runs around there like, his dad is the doctor this is like a Disney for the horse. Mo- this is a little bit like a Disney movie. Because the kid, he said, when I'm like, you know, five or six years old, I'm at the Coliseum. I'm around the, you know, around the players. I'm watching them run out of the tunnel. I'm thinking someday that's going to be me. Well, then USC <laughs> got the sanctions and they weren't allowed to have the little kid on the field with the horse. But, you know, so maybe, maybe this, that kid will get his shot. If this is a Disney movie, then Traveler is going to be the backup kicker. And kick the game-winning yeah, field goal. Yeah, that's true. I don't okay. know if Travis well, was, was allowed kicking, it in Husky Stadium. Although Gus was a kicking mule. Just let's just be consistent for everybody out there. Um, so is that really is that going to be the quarterback depth chart going into Washington? Yeah, I mean, look for USC. I mean, maybe Tyler Vaughn's, who's a super talented receiver, and I watched him. He threw a couple reps. He's got yeah. a big time arm, but he's never played quarterback. So. As Graham Harrell said, if something happens, we got to get creative. And how awkward is it? Let's be honest here. That that Urban is in the in the building for that sort of stuff. I mean, that's how, how big a win it is, right? Because everybody thinks that this is the guy who's going to replace, or at least everybody in Los Angeles would absolutely love if Urban wanted to coach again and be the coach of USC. Is that is that unspoken? Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't know what these USC fans. Some of these diehards. I think they're really conflicted. They want to see their team win, but I think a lot of them would like if he keeps winning, we can't make a change. And I think a lot of them, as much as everybody likes Clay Helton as a, as a person, he's just a decent, nice man. Right. But I think a lot of them have never gotten over the fact that they didn't think he should be the head coach in the first place. And he's won a conference title. He's won a Rose bowl. I mean, look, he's down to his third string quarterback. They just beat a really good Utah team. They sure did. So I don't know. I mean, is urban Meyer going to come back? I mean, I work with him. I'm not sure how many people know what ultimately he wants to do. Does he ever want to come back? I mean, he's still, you know, he has the cyst in his head, which was, I mean, I did one of the games where he was on a knee and looked like he was in agony. That was Maryland, right? That was that was, uh, another that was one. Nebraska game. Well, I remember the Ohio State-Maryland yeah, was... game. They called timeout, and he wasn't even in the huddle. He's doubled over. Yeah. So, I, I mean, look, I think there's a, I don't think it's a slam dunk that he would come back or right. that he would come back to USC. I mean, you know, if, if Clay Helton wins this game and then goes, wins Notre Dame in a couple of weeks, I mean, I don't know how you, how you, Again, he's down to his third string quarterback. Well, he, you know? plus, aren't, isn't USC on the hook for several more years? Right? Isn't that something? They that... are, but USC has a ton of money. I mean, I don't. Let's not let money stand. So and granted, it's not mine or your money, but that sure. or that's going to be an issue. Okay. So, so like, uh, what? Uh, Jimmy Iovine just cuts a check, or or Spielberg cuts. I'm sure, a there's check. some Danny Dimes in the USC uh, family who's got. And just, just again, one more time, Danny Dimes was never around Duke. No, right? he's Durham, North Carolina. Are you kidding me? Come on. So there was no Danny Dimes at Duke. There was no where. No, did if come? Danny Dimes played at Rutgers, maybe I'd buy that. But <laughs> I'm not at Duke. Right, exactly. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live, or download the Rich Eisen Show app.